Good afternoon, everyone. I present to your attention the work of the plugin Split the Wall Layers. Often when working in Revit, uh, on the early stages of a project, we are basically doing all the walls multi-layered. I mean walls which have, for example, reinforced concrete or masonry and additional facade, but at the working design phase, we need to break down this wall into several. For example, so that separately there would be reinforced concrete, separately the front wall and separately, for example, the trim. In Revit, there is no standard functionality under this task. So you can use our plugin. So let's take a look at how the plugin works at example. Let's create some multi-layered wall. This wall includes a layer of brick an air cavity, insulation layer, and finish. Let's assume the brick layer is necessary to be a separate wall and everything else. Leave it as a layered wall. Thus, uh, from one wall we've got two of 100 mm and 188 mm. In order to do that, we need to prepare these types first. Let's copy this wall type. Call it type 1. Let's leave only the 100 mm wall in it and remove everything else. Let's rename this type to type 100. Once again, let's copy the original type and make it type 188. Let's remove this layer right here. So that we are left with 188 mm. Let's put our type back in. Let's select our wall, run the split wall layers plugin. On the left side of the window, we see the layers of the wall. We need to select the layers that we want to make separate. In this case, it's 100 mm brick layer. We click on the tick box and see that on the right side of the window, we've got replacement structure. This layer 100 mm brick we have to replace with some type of wall. Earlier we prepared the type 100 wall. We select it and on to the rest of the 187 mm wall we select type 188. Separately it's still necessary to set tick which of the walls you want to put in the doors and windows. This is necessary in order to if our original wall would have already the doors and windows. We would like to save them. We'll deal with this case later and click done. As a result, we see that instead of one wall, we've got two. One is 100 millimeters and the other one is 188 millimeters. Let's look at the doors now. Let's put some type of the door and split our wall. We've selected our wall and let's click on the plugin. Select the layer, set the name settings and tick a box, for example, here. So in the brick wall, there will be a door. Click done. We see that we have a left door placed exactly in the brick wall and the wall called type 188. Without a door, but the cutting out is still there. So with this plugin, you can easily split the wall layers into multiple walls while maintaining the position of the doors and windows. That's it for now. Thank you everybody, subscribe to the channel, give us a like and in the description of the video you can find the download link for the plugins with a free 2 weeks trial version. Bye everybody!